In the wastelands, thousands of gods lived in an unsteady peace. Their domains carved into caves or nestled in canopies. Humanity came, and with them, desire. People formed pacts with spurned gods in exchange for magics, becoming the first acolytes. These spurned gods became known as the Patrons. They swelled with human drive and sought a rightful domain of their own. A great test of strength followed, leaving only three. The Sylvans of Haru. The Empiricists of Nest. And the Ravagers of Lone. Each seeks to be the sole ruler, but their abilities are too evenly matched for any one to lay claim. Now, colossal beasts walk the ravaged land, and the Acolytes hunt their power to tip the scales. One will offer these sacrifices to their patron, and the world will be forever changed. At the foot, of the altar. Hey, what's up, comrades? <laughs> so, I tried playing a game called Acolyte of the Altar, or Acolytes of the Altar, or something like that. Anyway, it's it was fine. It's, it's like a card game. First, it's like a PvE card game. Uh, and it, it's like a rogue style game, I guess. I don't know. I didn't get too far in it, so I'm really, there's not much to talk about. I just, I played it, figure out, I'm going to also talk about it and show some video in the background. So, the mechanism is, or, or the background story is, there's three tribes, and three tribes, like, they don't like each other, or they, or there's like this, these people, like, separate into three tribes, or three groups, and they don't, they don't like necessarily get along. Um, but, there's like beasts, these like really fancy looking, cool looking beasts, and they gotta like, to fight the beasts, and become like, the true masters of the altar, or something. Um, I, I probably, I mean, at the beginning of this video, before this started, you're going to see, like, the intro cinematic that is very poorly voice acted. <laughs> but that kind of explains the deal. Anyway, so that, I was like, oh, that's interesting. This should be pretty good. I'm very excited about this. And this, most of these games I've downloaded, um, you know, I don't know, months ago. I have no idea. I'm just grabbing, like, random games at this point. Every now and then I'll grab, like, a Plague's Tale. And I was like, I'm going to want to play this game a while, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to eat up a lot of time. But a lot of times I'm just grabbing these, like, smaller games or older games and just kind of, like, rolling with it, seeing what's going on. So I don't exactly know what I'm getting myself into. But then I start playing the tutorial, and I'm like, oh, okay, it's a card game. That's interesting. So you, you have these – you have cards, obviously. And what you do is you lay cards down. They have summoning sickness for the most part. And then you, like, move them to the attack panel, and the, then they attack. And then the, the beast has, like – four slots and depending on like the slot or like the, the slots might have like a time where they use an ability and then it has to click through three turns before they can use an ability or click one turn or they just always have access to it every turn but they, they essentially use all the possible abilities that they have so you can kind of look and see what they have and kind of plan out your actions and then you have your cards that do attacks or they do like um it mostly just attack there there was like the neutral cards because you can when you start playing playing you can choose between like the three factions it was an interesting thing so it's like when you start a new game you're like okay what faction do you want to be your like main faction and you choose and depending on what your main faction is you get like a special card or special ability so for example after every time you kill a beast you get like one health point back but every time you kill a beast as like one of the factions you get three health points back and then like one of the factions is like you get like a card um, you just start with like a creature on the deck or on, on the board automatically like but it's just like a one one creature and then the other one I don't remember I never played it and I'll get to that in a second but 
And then also the the cards in your deck, and the cards you get to choose when you get like new cards to choose from, those are influenced by who you you chose to be your like main your main squeeze. And then there's like the set. Then it's like okay, choose your secondary alliance. And I didn't notice any difference between the two. So, <laughs> and even when I'm choosing it, it's just like it just describes like their personality. Like one one of them is like they don't call them the berserkers. Uh, what would they call? the i'm gonna call them the berserkers they're like team orange it says like they love to fight and they love to go hard into it and then the second one's like oh they like to wait because like the the creatures they serve or the the things they worship are patient and like that it's like very cryptic like it doesn't tell you how the fucking game actually works which is kind of annoying and then the third one's like they like poisons and shit but it doesn't say that i had to like i inferred that i never got to see because the game just stopped working completely, and I wasn't going to start over. So, so you get through the tutorial, kind of just explains everything I just explained, pretty simply, and you're like, cool. And then you choose your faction. So you, you, I chose like, of course, I chose the let's get let's get this let's get this fucking game going. The one I start with a creature, and I I go hard into the paint, and you go and you fight your first beast, and then it shows you a map, and then you get like a random encounter, or you get to pick a card, like some random bullshit happens, and then. You go to like the next stage and you fight another beast, and then the same thing, and then you get to the, the third stage, and there's another beast, and you, you just kill these beasts until you die. And eventually, when you die, <laughs> and one of these monsters like tricked me because it was he like he's like the, he put a card in my deck, and it was like it's a letter from the beast, and I open the beast, and it's like let's be friends, essentially, and it, I'm gonna heal you, and it healed me. I was like, oh that's cool. I'm not gonna attack it. And then it, it killed me anyway. Whatever. But <laughs> I thought it was some sort of like Jedi mind trick. But no, I just, I like read too much to know the, what the fuck was going on there. So uh, you just, you got to kill the beast. So then I died and I was like, oh, okay. And then it just like went back to the, the main menu and they have like a little button that's like a bestiary. And so I clicked on that and I saw like, oh, I killed these two beasts one time each. And I was like, okay, this is like a rogue style game, right? And the rogue style games, if you're not familiar, um, like when you die... <clears throat> it's not like the end of the game. I mean, it is. You start like a new game, but you like stuff carries over either with like the story or items or levels or whatever. And there's a whole, I hate this genre. So I was kind of already kind of like, Oh, it's a rogue style game. I'm not a huge fan of these. <laughs> like, I think I might like dislike rogue style games the most. And I put a lot of effort into trying to understand them and see to like years ago. And I just like never enjoyed a single one of these ones that I ever played. And I, that it, this game has not changed my mind on that at all. But I was like, you know what? I like the design of the monsters. I like the idea. It's like very mysterious. I'm like kind of curious if it's going to go anywhere. So I'm going to keep playing. So I did. So then I chose like the next faction, the one that's like waiting around. And, you know, you get like the one card from there. And I, immediately it's like I have the exact same deck except for like one card. Or maybe two, I think it was two cards. And I was like, that's kind of lame. The deck should be completely different. But whatever. Small indie company, blah, 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 bullshit, 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 I guess. I don't know. I didn't look into it. But <laughs> so I started playing with this deck. And it's not that I'm more powerful because nothing carried over. It, but I understand the game a little bit more. So I'm, I'm crushing it. I'm killing, like, I killed, like, three or four monsters before I, instead of just, like, the two, before I die. But then when I die, the game, like, kind of locks up. And so it's like, it's, it's like you've been defeated. And then it just sits there. When before, it's like you've been defeated, and it just kicks me back to the opening screen. And so I was, like, clicking on stuff, and it was like I was still able to interact with, like, the board, but nothing was doing anything, right? I could, like, click on my card, and it would, like, bring it up, but it was, like, in behind. Uh, you'll see in this video um, what I'm talking about. And I was like, okay, uh, okay. That's, I guess that's what it is. So then I, like, control it, delete, end task, and then... Oh, no, I didn't even do that. I just hit, like, escape. And escape took me back to, like... It's, so the game didn't, like, completely freeze. It was just, like, it would not go back to the main menu. And so I hit main menu. And I go back, and I looked, and it was, like, okay. It, it had all the enemies that I killed in the bestiary. So, like, it was tracking that live. And I was, like, that's cool. Um, and I was, like, that's fine. So then I go to um, a new game. And when I click new game, nothing happened. And I tried it, and then I turned the thing completely off, and I turned it back on, and nothing happened. And there's a button to, like, reset progress, right? Because it's a rogue-style game, so I can, like, start all the way over from the beginning. And I was like, I'm done. Because, <laughs> again, I, nothing about this game was, like, that enjoyable. It was like, I was like, I'm kind of curious to see where this goes. And I'm already, like, playing it. And it's not, I'm not, like, 
super bored with it, right? I'm not like annoyed with it. It's just kind of like, let's see if this like piques my interest. If this can pique my interest, and it never got a chance to because the game just fucking refuses to work. So I was not going to restart my pre- my progress. I still have like an inkling of like curiosity about this, but not enough to even look it up. So if I'm not even <laughs> willing to like Google the answer, like I'm not going to play this game anymore. So that's a ma- oh no, that's a um, what is this game called? Acolyte of the Altar. I if you like. Uh, card game slash rogue style game, then you might like this game. I don't know. I didn't. Cool. Catch y'all later.